What is up Broncos fans? The Denver Broncos Show back here again to do another video. In this video, I'll be talking about the Broncos 31-23 win over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Sunday. We moved to 9-3 with this win. This was our seventh straight win in a row, and we clinched the AFC West and a playoff spot with this win. So you love seeing that. To, to have our division wrapped up and, and to have a playoff spot guaranteed already in, in Week 13 is just great. Shows how well we're playing right now. And to be back-to-back -back division champions uh, is, is a great feeling. So this was just a great day in general for the Broncos and, and a great win over a real solid Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. Now looking at some of the things we did well here in this game, starting on the offensive side of the ball, we were 3 of 4 in the red zone here against Tampa Bay. You like seeing that. All three of Peyton Manning's touchdowns came in the red zone here against the Buccaneers. Our, our red zone offense really has kind of struggled the last two two weeks. We really have, have struggled to finish off, try, score down in the red zone and execute down the red zone. We did a phenomenal job of that here against Tampa Bay. Did a great job of finishing off drives, putting points on the board, and, and taking some pressure off our defense, which was great to see. We outscored the Buccaneers 21 to nothing in the third quarter, really took uh, over this game in that third quarter, took uh, you know total control of this game in the third quarter, and I thought the pick six by, by Vaughn Miller in that third uh, quarter was, was really just kind of the exclamation mark on this game and, and was kind of the, the final nail in the coffin, if you will, uh, for the Buccaneers here against us. Our offensive line gave up zero sacks and zero quarterback hits. Again, the, the past two weeks, I thought our pass protection has been kind of iffy, kind of average. In this game, it was really good. Did a pretty good job all day. I've given Peyton Manning plenty of time to decipher the defense, go through his reads, and, and make good decisions with the ball. And I thought our pass protections, uh, uh, pass protection was pretty good all game. you got to give our offensive line a lot of credit. They played real well here against the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, front seven. I thought the Broncos did a phenomenal job here in this game of controlling the clock. We had the ball for 33 minutes and 27 seconds to the Tampa Bay only having the ball for 26 minutes and 33 seconds here in this game. Did a ph phenomenal job of, of, again, taking over full control of the game in that third quarter and just the entire second half really took over the tempo of the game, controlled the clock, really wore down the, the Buccaneers defense and never looked back. We really struggled in the first half of controlling the tempo and controlling the clock. The Buccaneers did a phenomenal job of that, keeping our defense on the field, keeping Peyton Manning off of the field, but again, we took over in the second half, woke up, so to say, and did a great job controlling the clock and tempo in that second half. We had five first downs in this game offensively, all of which were from penalties. I thought Peyton Manning uh, made a, a couple great heads-up plays. He, he was able to, to draw the Buccaneers off sides uh, multiple times here in this game. He caught them a couple times as well uh, in, during substitutions with 12 men on the field. Just really made some heads-up plays that were able to give us first downs from penalties. He loves seeing that. And just in general, I thought Peyton May played pretty pretty well here in this game. He went 27-38 to for 242 yards. He threw three touchdowns, only one pick. The interception was just kind of a forced throw by him. Nobody's perfect. I wasn't too upset with the throw because I thought all in all, Peyton May played pretty damn well here in this game but he's got to know better. He threw into triple coverage. Just a bad throw. It happens. Uh, but, you know, I thought Peyton Manning uh, really showed great awareness in the game. In this game, as I mentioned, you know, did a great job of, of getting multiple penalties on the Buccaneers' defense, which gave us first downs. And he also threw his 29th touchdown of the season here in this game, which sets a franchise record for the Broncos. That is the most touchdowns a quarterback has ever thrown uh, in a single season with the Denver Broncos. He passed uh, John Elway and Jake Plummer, who I believe both uh, were at 28. That's where the record was at. Peyton Manning, of course, now broke it with 29. I thought the two touchdown throws that Peyton May had in this game to Demarius Thomas were, were phenomenal throws. The, the first throw was just a dime. I mean, just an absolute dart that Peyton May threw to Demarius Thomas. Demarius Thomas just showing great trust in Demarius, and it was just phenomenal ball placement. There was no other way uh, or place, I should say, that Demarius Thomas was going to catch that ball uh, than where Peyton Manning put it. And then the, the second touchdown throw he had to Demarius Thomas, just phenomenal job by Thomas of beating double coverage, and again, great ball placement by Peyton. And uh, he also had a touchdown throw to uh, one of our defensive tackles, Mitch on Ryan, which I thought was a cool cool moment here in this game. And, and Peyton was just great. I mean, he was his usual self. He, he hate the the one pick, which was a throw a force throw again into to double co uh, triple coverage, excuse me, but his awareness this was phenomenal in this game. He got his first downs from penalties, which he caused. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought he was, he, he just, he made a lot of heads-up plays for us here in this game. And I thought his ball placement was great all day and, and also had a, a bunch of beautiful throws as well to Jacob Tammy here. So just uh, another typical day at the office, if you will, for Peyton Manning here against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense. 
I thought Noshaw Moreno and Ronnie Hillman were really good here in this game. Both these guys combined for 25 carries, 98 yards, and three. they averaged 3.9 yards per carry combined here against the Buccaneers' defense. That's just really what we need from them. We don't need any big games out of Moreno or Hillman. We just need them to be productive, and that's a very solid uh, outing for both those guys. For them to have a combined 98 yards and 25 carries and average about 4 yards per carry, that's good enough for us. That, that will keep uh, the defense honest, if you will. That will open up the play-action passing game for us and keep us balanced on the offensive I thought both those guys played really well. Ronnie Hillman had some great runs here in this game. I thought Noshaw Moreno, again, showed pretty solid vision and patience here against the Buccaneers. Marys Thomas had a phenomenal game here. He finished with eight catches for 99 yards. He averaged 12.4 yards per catch here against the Buccaneers secondary, and he also finished with two touchdowns. Like I said, the, the two touchdowns uh, that he had from Peyton Manning were, were just beautiful throws by Peyton, but I thought Demaryius Thomas did a phenomenal job uh, all game of just beating coverage. It did not matter who the Buccaneers had on him. He was beating them. I mean, the, the, one, the second touchdown that he had from Peyton Manning, he did a phenomenal job beating double coverage. He had one play in this game where he got a little screen, like bubble screen pass from Peyton Manning, and it looked like he was going to get tackled for maybe a, a one or two yard gain, and he ended up turning it, uh, you know, up the field for 15 to 20 yards, showing uh, his ability to, to make plays in the open field, showing this. And Peyton Manning has really brought in his game to to a new new level and to new heights, and, and he's playing like a, a top eight wide receiver right now, and he just had a phenomenal outing. And Jacob Tammy also was phenomenal as well in this game. He finished with nine catches to go uh, along with 89 yards. Really has become, uh, as I've said multiple times this year, Peyton Manning's security blanket made some great catches here in this game and continues his high level of play this season. And now talking about what we did well on the defensive end, I thought we did a great job of containing Doug Martin. Martin only finished with 56 yards here in this game on 18 carries. He only averaged 3.1 yards per carry against us. He did have three catches for 42 yards. He had a big uh, a pass off a screen that he took for like 30, 40 yards. Just for the most part, I, I thought we did a great job of containing him. He had a big first quarter, but you know, once we got to the, the latter part of the second quarter and into the second half, we really shut him down. I thought our defense kind of matched his matched his physicality, and I thought Kevin Vickerson and uh, Derek Wolf did a phenomenal job up front. We also did a pretty good job of containing Vincent Jackson. He only finished with three catches and 55 yards. He had one big catch uh, in, in the the first half, but besides that, he was he was kind of non-existent. I thought Champ Bailey did a pretty good job on him all game, and the Buccaneers were three of 12 on third down conversion. Again, did a real good job uh, starting in that latter part of the the second quarter to, to the, the the rest of the game uh, of just uh, you know converting on third downs defensively and, and did a great job of getting off the field and forcing the Buccaneers into to some tough third down situation. Did a good job of hurrying Freeman, kind of rushing his decision making, and uh, affected a lot of his throws here in this game. Um, so defensively, I thought a real solid downing. Uh, we didn't play too well in, in that first quarter and even you know the, the first half of the second quarter, but in that latter part of the second quarter to the finish of the game, we just did a phenomenal job of turning it up and, and making some adjustments on the defensive end and, and really playing well. Von Miller was absolutely sensational here in this game. He finished with six tackles to go along with a sack. That was his 15th of the year. He also had a forced fumble. That's his fifth of the year. And he got his first career interception in this game, which he also took to the house. It was a pick six for him. That was a great play. That was kind of the final nail in the coffin, if you will, for the Buccaneers here in this game. Great job by Mitch Unrein uh, to get some pressure on Freeman to force a bad throw. And, and Von Miller just was right in the zone, picked it off, and then took it to the house, showed off his speed. And what a way to get your first career interception. Just a, another great game by by Von Miller again. I've said it in the last five five or so videos that I've done. I think that he just continues to, to make a, a push, not only for MVP in my opinion, but definitely for Defensive Player of the Year. It's really between him, Alden Smith, and J.J. Watt. It's it's basically a three horse race for the next three or four weeks. And Von Miller's making a serious case. I mean, to, to have the game that he did here, to get the force fumble, to get his 15 sack, to get his first pick of his career and, and not only to do that but to, to, to return it to the house for a touchdown get a pick six I mean just showing the versatility in his game and and he was just phenomenal once again and lastly our special teams played really well I thought uh, Trenton Holiday again had uh, a real solid game he's had a, a couple good games now in a row he's really been kind of an X factor for our team just a, a great pickup and addition by John Elway to claim him off the waivers after Houston had cut him uh, he averaged 24 yards per punt return here in this game against the Buccaneers. You love seeing that. He had one return that he almost took the, to the house. He got tripped up by the last possible guy. Uh, that's obviously frustrating for Holiday, but still it was a great return, and, and he gave us great field position all game. He was, and Britton Colquitt, uh, you know, is having another great season for us. He's had a couple good seasons in a row now for us. Played really well last year, played pretty well the year before, and has had a phenomenal year this year. Well, 
averaged about 45 yards per punt in this game for us, and he had three punts in this game that were within the 20 yard line. So you like seeing that. I did a great job of pinning the the Buccaneers back, and I thought him and Holiday did a great job of flipping the field for us and, and really giving us uh, you know field position all game and, and keeping us ahead in that aspect. So we we have a, a game tomorrow. We play on Thursday night football against the Raiders. It should be a, a fairly easy game for us. We beat the Raiders 37 to six the first time we played them. They haven't got much better, but I mean we still got to be wary of Carson Palmer. He's a very capable quarterback. Um, they, they have a very good tight end and, and Brandon Myers who's having a phenomenal year and they have big play wideouts in Darius Hayward Bay and Daenerys Moore who definitely can get vert vertical uh, you know on our corners and, and definitely can beat our safety so we got to be prepared defensively and then offensively uh, I mean it, it's just it, it should be a, a great outing for us we put 37 points on this team the first time we played them they have a weak secondary we should have plenty of mismatches throughout the game that I expect Peyton Manning to take advantage of and I think we'll even have a decent day running the ball the Raiders still have a good defensive line so our offensive Lines gotta play well up front, match the physicality and kind of the toughness of, of the Raiders, uh, you know, front seven primarily their defensive line, and hopefully we can get the run game going as well, open up the play action uh, passing game, and just have a good outing. And hopefully get our tenth win. This is a big game for us. It's a must win for us, and, and we should, and, and hopefully we will come out on top against the Raiders tomorrow night. So, again, that's my video, guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for sticking through this video and watching it. Again, leave me a comment below with what you thought of this game and what you expect from the Broncos uh, tomorrow night when they take on the Oakland Raiders for the second time this season. So, uh, again, thank you for watching, and as always, go Broncos.